Guys, on a rainy day, what can we possibly do? How about a Marco Polo pancakes on a rainy day? Because if this couple are together on a rainy day like today, how can we not? So I will see you guys soon in a few minutes for a Marco Polo pancakes mukbang guy. The body is asking me for that. What, can, what, what else can I eat on a rainy day? Oh my God. My umbrella is flying away. See you guys. Good morning to all of you guys. How are you all doing this morning? I'm Paul Diaz. And guys, today we're having a beautiful rainy morning. I just got home a few minutes ago. I dropped my son in school and on his way here. Wow, I have a hard time to hold on on that umbrella because it's so windy and gutsy. Well, but I managed to come here, guys. Guys, so what we got this morning is the, I would call it like a mini mug band. So what I'm having here, uh, a Marco Polo breakfast is what I'm having here. So I'm having this four pieces of pancakes, Marco Polo. And the, the thing with the Marco Polo pancake, they have the, the green scallions on it. You can cannot see it from one side, you can see it from the other one. You see the green scallion there. And we're having with that the bacon, and we're having a homelet on that, and we're having my lemonade. So I'm gonna start eating on this guys while we're having a little conversation, you guys and I. So, yes, Marco Polo, a merchant from Italy who loves pancakes. Every time he will do uh, China, do business with China, he will go there. And he liked to eat those uh, green scallions pancakes. That's one of his favorite treats. So I'm gonna start eating into that guy right now. Let's see how it tastes. I got my syrup on it. Maple, of course. Well, guys, yeah, you should give it a try. If you guys haven't tried a Marco Polo pancake, it's very easy to make. I know some of you are on the run all the time with a lot of things to do, but it's not that complicated. It's very simple to make. So if you guys have a chance, want to check on my recipe. I got it. You guys can scroll down a little. You're going to see my Marco Polo recipe, or if you guys would like to check any other anybody else's Marco Polo recipe, give it a try, guys. Yeah. You won't regret it. So the thing with the, I mean, I mean, if you people, I mean, we can only go back in time, guys, and see how the pizza was created. Because sometimes, when we eat in pizza, sometimes before I didn't even know what the origins of what I'm eating right in front of me. Well. So I just found that like a, let's say I heard the first thing, I, a, a friend of mine, he told me about this, about the pizza. He didn't tell me it was Marco Polo, but he told me the idea was origi originated from China. When then later, a few years, when I researched, no. Well, it was from China. It, it indeed, uh, the green scallion pancake is from China. But, hmm. The idea was transformed in Italy, in Naples. When Marco Polo brought the idea to Italy, that's when the idea of, of the green onion uh, pancake was transformed into the pizza. That's when the idea of the pizza was transformed. Because the thing is, when Marco Polo brought the idea to Italy, I mean, uh, 
he, I mean, nobody wanted, you know, nobody really was interested in trying to, you know, nobody was really interested in trying to deal with that recipe that Marco Polo brought to Italy, but then he found somebody who would really, you know, help him out. He said, okay, let's get down. Let's get down. Let's do this. Let's get down on what you want. But then it was a little transformed because what they did, and they put they put the sauce on top, they put toppings on top, and then you know it was transformed in a way. That's how the pizza was created. Wow. Well basically the idea was originated in China, of course. We gotta give credit to China, credit to Italy. Marco Polo, of course, the wonderful merchant who travels so many times to China. Wonderful person. Guys, on a rainy day, what can we possibly do? The very first thing sometimes that comes in my mind is that TV show back in the back in the middle 60s and the 50s, yeah, in the 60s. The monster. On a rainy day, there's lightning and thunder. Wow. <laughs> I remember I used to watch that TV show back in the, I mean, like the thing is, I, I know it was air from 1964, 1966, but, but, yeah, it was originated there, but then, uh, it was not air, I mean, it was air on the Caribbean on the 70s. So I remember, do you guys remember, uh, let me see, I got the information here about that TV show, The Monsters. I'm going to check in here on my laptop. Yep. Monsters. Yep. Yeah, anyway guys, I remember when I was in school, when I was in middle school, I used to be very, you know, skinny, athletic, and tall, you know, when I was like more skinny, I'm not really skinny right now, but when I was like, you know, more, you know, down in size, I, you know, that makes you look look taller. And I remember during that time I was wearing, I was wearing uh, my hairstyle with like a flat top, and then uh, in school, they would call me Herman Monster. <laughs> yeah, hey, Herman, how are you, man? How's Lily? <laughs> oh, man. Well, then they get out of here, man. Leave me alone, dude. It was funny. But it was a wonderful show. I remember. I enjoyed it. They're monsters. I remember. Hmm. When there was a rainy day, it would start clapping. And there was lightning, they started clapping and being happy and being merry. That was funny. They would make a celebration every time there was a storm or something like that. That was funny, man. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're done with this. We're done with my mug band, my Marco Polo mug band. Everything is gone. It's gone and out. My lemonade. Okay, guys. That's it for today, guys. Whew. I usually, guys, don't eat this much in the morning. I make an exception today because of the mug, man. Well, my, my breakfast usually is only maybe in case I have pancakes, like two, slide, two, two pancakes, two strips of bacon. In case I have an egg, I will have a one over easy egg, and that's it. But today I have four big pancakes, strips, three strips of bacon, one big hummus, and a full glass of lemon. I will see you guys again soon for another mug band. Paul Diaz, enjoy your money. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> your money. Yeah, fine, enjoy your money, stay safe, and this winter guy, keep you guys safe, huh? God bless you.